In this video we share Our Lady's apparitions and messages in Ukraine. The prophecies that Our Lady has given to some seers have emerged, and one in particular refers precisely to Ukraine. In these, Our Lady gives a very precise message. Prophecy is always conditioned by our response. Then it is necessary to ask what Our Lady has indicated as a remedy. It's a constant, from Fatima to Medjugorje. In fact, even on special occasions when she appeared in Ukraine, Mary points to the prayer of the Rosary as the most powerful weapon to fight the evil of war. Therefore, the importance of the Rosary emerges in the messages that the Virgin has left to the visionaries. Our Lady, in presenting herself to the weeping seer and revealing the disastrous facts that would come shortly thereafter, told her, recite the Rosary. The Rosary is the weapon against Satan. He fears the Rosary. Recite the Rosary every day. In fact, in these hours it has been pointed out that the Virgin spoke specifically about Ukraine on two occasions. If in fact there are several prophecies that are circulating in these hours, and the risk is that you often come across unreliable realities or in any case of dubious origin, in these two cases there have been support, more or less official, also by religious figures. When Our Lady appeared on April 26, 1987 to a 12-year-old girl, Marie Kisin, in Ukraine, thousands of people saw Mary with the child Jesus in her arms, high on the tower of the local church. It was said that there were 500,000 people who saw her. Our Lady had already appeared in the Ukrainian country in 1806, in Grustu, driving away a cholera epidemic. In 1914 she appeared to 22 peasants indicating to them the suffering that the Ukrainian people would have to suffer for 80 years, then until the fall of the Berlin Wall and the end of the Cold War. But in the last appearance on April 26, 1987 a year had passed since the Chernobyl nuclear attack, and the event was seen by a multitude of people. A few weeks later, on May 13, 1987, during a television program in which the miraculous incident was denied, the Virgin appeared on the screen and all the television viewers saw her. The pilgrims began to go to the places of the apparition with a constant influx, 45,000 a day, while the communist authorities tried to prevent it in every way. Our Lady in those apparitions asked for prayers for the conversion of Russia and sinners, and not to forget the deaths of Chernobyl, a warning with respect to something that unfortunately could still happen. The primate of the Ukrainian church acknowledged that these apparitions have increased the faith of the people, and were recently also mentioned by the father and head of the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church, his beatitude Sviatoslav Shevchuk, in a public speech. Apparitions that inevitably remind us of what happened in Fatima, when the ten-year-old shepherds Lucy dos Santos and seven-year-old Jacinta Mato with nine-year-old shepherd Francisco Mato, Jacinta's brother and Lucy's cousin, on May 13, 1917 they saw a cloud come down and a woman dressed in white with a rosary in her hand, which was Our Lady. Apparitions that continued for some time with prophecies about the future in which it was told of the imminent end of the First World War, the danger of an even more devastating Second War if men did not convert, and the communist threat coming from Russia. The only way to counter this drift would have been the consecration of the nation itself to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, by the action of the Pope and all the assembled bishops. For this reason, today as never before, it is necessary to invoke the Madonna again to stop the madness of war and the absurdity of pain and suffering that it brings with it. Please support my channel by watching another video. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.